According to Looking at Movies, 4th edition, there are two types of sound used in film, diegetic and non-diegetic. In 2001 Space Odyssey, Kubrick had the task of creating sound within space. As we all know, space does not have sound, so how does one approach this dilemma? Kubrick's approach of diegetic and non-diegetic sound makes 2001 Space Odyssey one of the most revolutionary films in sound design. Diegetic sound originates from within the film's world. These sounds come from the film's characters or from events within the film. Think back to the scene where Dave is talking to Hal. Where the hell did you get that idea, Hal? Those sounds originate within the world and let the viewer know the relation between the two characters. Non-diegetic sound is sound outside the world, a score or different effects that are assumed to be unheard by the characters. In the song, also Sprock Zadusa, composed by Richard Strauss, remade by Alex North, the song preludes significant events. Even though the characters don't know, the viewers realize the significance of the events to come. Ambient sound is another form of diegetic sound. Ambient sound comes from the background the film is being filmed in, such as the noise behind Dave. We're going to find that rather difficult. How I would argue with you anymore. Kubrick is known for his excessive preciseness when it comes to films. For example, films like Doctor Strangelove are almost perfectly executed. The comedy in Doctor Strangelove falls down to the very execution and minute details. This leaves no surprise when it comes to the sound design in Kubrick's 2001 Space Odyssey. Kubrick said, I don't like to talk about 2001 too much because it's essentially a non-verbal experience. It tends to communicate more to the subconscious and to the feelings than it does to the intellect. Kubrick paved the way for revolutionary design. Look at movies such as Gravity by Alfonso Cuaron. In a way, the sound design from that film feels Kubricky. He left the groundwork and now we are all following.